Now this here is an inflatable cube. It's massive, huge, and it has a tail on. And I keep this down the side of the bed all the time with the tail facing me. And the reason I have this nearby all the time is because I faint. And so if I feel a faint coming on, which I usually, I usually have a bit of warning, I, if I have enough strength and have my wits about me enough, I'll pull this up onto the bed and I will put my legs up on it because it's quite high. If I can get my legs up on it, I'll keep it up there and I'll that helps the blood flow down to my head. So it keeps me conscious in theory. Sometimes, anyway, it doesn't every time, but sometimes. Um, and in the meantime, I can then be a, I'm able to ring a bell which I have down at the side of my bed as well, uh, a doorbell, and that will alert Nigel to come and sort me out. Um, funny enough, faints, my faints often happen in the middle of the night. I'll wake up to faint. Um, very strange. Uh, often it's because there's bowel pain. I get a pain in my bowel through the night sometimes um, and that the level of pain will make me black out. So that's one use for this this uh, cube. Another way I use it um, is in the mornings. I, I, I have sciatica in both legs. At the moment it's worse in the right leg. And I will use this to put my legs over to elongate my spine. So that it gives me a bit of um, relief from the pain and from the pressure. Um, the sciatica I have is due to bed rest, um, too much bed rest. So yeah, that's a tool I have that I have to keep handing and nearby. I have these. They are gel packs, hot or cold gel packs. Um, I've never used them with the heat, but I've used them. I use them in the freezer. I have about 16 and I'll use six at a time. And every day the carers will change them twice a day and they get packed round my legs and round my back. The reason being um, to help me with pain relief because I get such severe pain that, well, it, it has me in tears. I cry with the pain. Sometimes it's just constant, severe. It, it's like, um, it's fibromyalgia pain. It's like having head to toe sunburn, absolutely stinging, burning, um, feels like I've been scalded. And what it is, is it, it's each, it's my pain nerves. They're in, my nerves get inflamed on the inside and they all will send pain messages to my brain. So I use heat and cold um, to help give me some sort of relief. Um, it even, the pain will even, is even in, inside me. It's in my eyeballs, um, my tongue, my mouth, down the throat, down into my bowel and gut. So it all, all feels like it's, it's stinging, it's unbearable. So I have these changed. I use them six at a time. I have them changed twice a day um, in my bed. So do you know anyone who has ice in their bed? It's like I do. And sometimes if the pain is really bad, I have to wake up Nigel in the night and he has to go and change the ice packs for me. And again, they get packed around my legs. Um, and I use them uh, with hot water bottles as well. So I've got the hot, hot and the cold because temperature helps to override the pain response in the brain. So, um, yeah, another thing that I use. This is what my day is like. Um, ice in my bed. Not very pleasant, but it's what I have to do, I'm afraid. I have one of these ice packs as well. It has um, plastic ice cubes in and steel ice cubes to keep it colder longer. This gets changed twice a day. This is for the pain in my head and my face. Um, I will sometimes put it in my back as well on the sciatic pain. Uh, but yeah, I spend a lot of time sitting like this. Not very comfortable.
sometimes Nigel will have to get up in the night and change this as well depending on how much pain I'm in um, yeah baby wipes I get through millions of baby wipes um, of course they're useful just for just cleaning up bits and pieces but I use them because I can't wash um, the reason I can't wash is because it's too strenuous an activity for me um, I know some people will say but you know you can cross stitch you can do some cross stitch why can't you wash when you wash right okay you you have to be sitting up well you'll be standing up I imagine um, if you're washing at a sink or something I have a bowl of water by my bed I wash my hands a few times a day um, but only so often because there's only so much sitting up that I can do um, washing yourself okay so what you do you have the say flannel or whatever you have the soap you have to you have to lather it up first don't you then wash yourself that's one lot of arm movement then you have to rinse it all off that's another lot of arm movement then you have to dry yourself that's another lot see I won't I'm not able to do that I can't do that repetitive movement with you, with you quite a lot of movement in your arms. I can do little bits, but even with that, I have to keep stopping. Now, if you're having a wash, you can't just like lather yourself and then leave it and not do anything. It's like, oh, I'll, I can't bother to do anymore. You have to finish it. And there's no way I could do the whole of me all at once. And I can't use hoists and I can't be pushed around in a wheelchair I can't use a shower chair I don't use the bathroom it's all just too much activity all at once and even having the carers wash me it's too much activity all at once too much sensory overload too much um, energe energetic movement I can't do it it makes me worse so I don't I would love to wash I would love to have a wash head to toe wash it would be wonderful do you know how awful it is when it's boiling hot in here and you can't wash it's just horrible i can't wash my hair i use um talcum powder on talcum powder on it sometimes um, when i have the strength to do that um i can't use the dry shampoos because the perfumes make me wretch um so yeah, that's what that's where baby wipes come through come in. Um, amazing things. I hate using them. They're not good for the environment. I'd much rather have a wash. But unfortunately, this is as good as it gets at the moment. Now, in between the carers being here, uh, I have to rest. Everything I do is punctuated by rest. Tiny bits of activity. And a period of rest afterwards that's how I function through my day um, during my rest periods particularly in my afternoon rest when the carers have gone I wear an eye mask I have to wear an eye mask seeing is exhausting you don't realize it until you have ME that seeing is so tiring your brain is processing everything processing distance color movement all this is going on within your face within your brain and it is exhausting and so i have to stop the visual um goings on i have to give my eyes a rest so i wear this um, for a couple of hours throughout the afternoon um, and different times during the day i'll also wear an eye mask at night because any light will keep me awake um, and these ear defenders if people are speaking too loud if they're mowing their lawn if they're uh, playing music loud next door if they're vacuuming I have to wear these all the time because I can't cope with the noise um, and it's not just can't cope with it it's not like oh that's a horrible noise it's like explosions going off in your head, fireworks, and and you'll get I get like a bolt 
of like pain down my system at loud noises, sudden noises. I'll get a flash in my eyesight with noises. Um, ME is like a real hypersensitive illness that everything is louder, everything is brighter. Touch, things hurt that shouldn't hurt when you touch them. It's just a, a, an onslaught to the body. Um, and this is what I go through every single day and I have done for 11 years. 11 years is a long time. I mean, I've had ME for 20 odd years, but yeah, when you're bedridden at this level, everything, everything is severe, everything. A bin, I keep a bin by my bed. Nothing unusual about that. Lots of people have bins in their bedroom um, for my rubbish, of course, but also because I vomit. I vomit every now and again. Wretch, the bag has to be without holes. Um, I have to keep it within reach all the time. It's horrible. It is, it is horrible. I get a lot of nausea, stomach upset. Um, sometimes I vomit. I don't know why. There, there have been times when I would go through stages of where every day and night I would wake up retching, retching over the side of the bed. Um, it's another symptom of ME. This is, you know, this is severe ME. It's not just about being tired. It's these awful symptoms. Who wants to, who wants to vomit? It's one of the worst things in the world. Why, why would anybody want to do that? I, I'm in my bed. It's revolting. I feel unclean. But I have this is my reality. This is this is how what my life is like. It's miserable. 